I would like to share with everybody today is uh, this email that we received um, from somebody saying a new user who may have come th uh, through the show or another avenue and found us but was not familiar with Glossica and, and had not heard of Glossica from any anybody else that he knows so he didn't he wasn't familiar with how to use it and so this is something that we reflect on and how we should improve our product of course but um, we just wanted to uh, reach out and write uh, an email back to explain some of the things and I think um, that's worth sharing with you here today so George our goal here at Glossica is to assist you in getting closer to fluency well, one of his questions was that he just does not have any control over what's going on in the sessions. And I don't think that that's actually true with what are uh, the functionality of the product. So um, to address, address his issues specifically, um, we wrote back to him and said, when you first start, there are a few pop-ups on the screen that introduce the various settings, or you can explore everything later if you miss them. Every day, start at your dashboard. We recommend doing one of each, review sentences and new sentences. It doesn't matter which order. The amount that you do is determined by your time limit or what you feel comfortable with. Each of these choices will take you into a training session where you complete your reps. A session of new sentences is simply five sentences practiced five times each. A review session can become quite long and will continue until you've finished all items. And I'll describe more about that a little bit later how you can set limitations to your review sessions. In the training session, there are currently two practice modes, listening only and full practice mode. You can see the toggle at the bottom of the in session screen. So if you go down to the bottom of the screen, you can just toggle that um, back and forth on and off. I also strongly recommend to toggle recording on at the bottom of the in session screen so that you can save and hear and, or contrast your voice with the native speakers. This isn't turned on by default as everyone's own device requires permission to take recordings. But if you turn it on, you'll always have complete control of all of your recordings, which you can browse and delete when you browse the memories dashboard. You can access memories from the main dashboard. Some learners prefer to practice while doing other activities or while driving. So since recording requires screen taps, you'll need to turn the recording off for this and repeat with the native speaker on your own. It's probably better to do this only for review sentences that you've already encountered before. And the reason why I say this here is that when you're driving and you hear something new, you don't have a chance to look at the screen. Hopefully you're not looking at the screen while you're driving, you know. So um, sometimes we prefer to see the words when we hear it for the first time so that it kind of registers in our brain like, oh, what did I just hear? If I see it, it helps me, you know, understand or remember that word a little bit better. And sometimes the accent and the pronunciation of a word in a foreign language doesn't make sense to us first, at first. So when you see the word, you kind of uh, connect that pronunciation with that word. And seeing it can always maybe open up, maybe, oh, it's a cognate of a word that I already know. Um, Okay, where was I? So it's probably better to do this only for review sentences. Yeah, so while you're driving, uh, when you're doing review sentences, it's that's better because um, you've already seen the sentences. You're just reviewing them. Um, and in, in British English, they say revise. You're, you're revising the sentences. Uh, however, in, in all of our interface, we use the word review. Uh, but if you are doing new sentences, this unique hands-free approach means that when a session is ended, it'll automatically continue to the next session after a few seconds. In review, which we, re which we recommend doing daily, it'll continue with all the review sentences or up to the amount that you have preset in the settings. Review sessions are based on spaced repetition algorithm, algorithms, which count how many times you have been exposed to a sentence and how long it takes you to naturally forget that exposure. There are two main factors that determine what goes into review, memory decay rate versus time and stability growth of any particular item, or how well or how many times you've successfully done that item. Next is full practice mode. You get introduced to several skills which progressively get harder the more times you get them correct. Typing the sentence, uh, diacritics and punctuation in foreign languages are all fuzzy match, listening and recording, dictation, and finally interpretation. 
A lot of pe people, including myself, dislike the tediousness of typing out every sentence, but this is the most accurate way for our system to know whether you've learned sentences well or not. And the spaced repetition algorithms will perform much better in full practice mode. Now, the, the idea behind this is that, and I said this in my previous video, is that doing the typing is an active um, practice and not doing anything at all is passive. If you're just listening to sentences and they go keep flying by and you're not repeating, you're not recording, you're not typing, it's just way too passive. And the real question is, are you actually picking up the language? Are you really learning the language, just passive listening? I don't think so. Um, take for example, watching TV like telenovelas in, in Spanish for like a decade. Did, are you really gonna learn how to speak Spanish doing that? I don't think so. Um, you can read and read and read and read as many books as you want or watch TVs, uh, TV shows as much as you want in a foreign language. I don't think you're actually gonna improve your speaking skills. What you have to do is you have to do, uh, turn that passive energy into active energy. And so if you're repeating everything that you hear, or if you're reading the book aloud, you're doing, every, it becomes an active activity, then your language skills should improve because your tongue is now getting into the mode of that muscle memory. The, the tongue is a muscle, right? So the, the way the tongue is moving in that new language uh, is going to build memories for you. Um, so, you know, I just like the tediousness of typing out every sentence, but this is the most accurate way for our system to know whether you've learned the sentence as well or not. Now, if you don't, if you're not doing typing and you're in uh, just doing the recording, uh, the recording will actually uh, count your sentence as correct, but the the stability rate will grow much slower than if you were typing. Just because we don't uh, know exactly if you have said that sentence correctly or, you know, because uh, just repeating the sentence is not as accurate as doing the typing. Um, finally, while in session, you can click on the cogwheel at the top, which represents settings. You can turn the source language audio and text off. You can change the speed of the audio and the intervals between each sentence or rep. In review mode, you can also choose from a variety of review styles based on what you deem as more important or set your desired number of reps per day. Okay, so, and I, I was just talking about recordings and I thought of, um, you know, I might as well mention to you that um, we don't interrupt the session itself. The progression of the session means that you should be able to get done with all of your sentences in the, the time that you have allotted for doing that session. If you want to go back and review your recordings to make sure your recordings are actually done well, you go into the memory and you compare them with the native speakers and they're all in that one area. And so you can now go back through and, and check all of your recordings. You might want to write down some notes and say, oh, I need to say this word a little bit better. And then the next time that sentence comes up in review, you know, be prepared and make sure you get that recording done right. It's not like uh, you have a chance to know like, oh, I'm going to do the sentence next. It's, you just have to be mentally prepared and be ready for that sentence when it comes up. And so uh, just keeping you on your feet. Okay, so uh, another customer wrote in and said, I practice 15 to 20 sentences a day, but I'm not confident that I remember all of them. Okay, so the issue here is that Glossika is not about um, improving your memory. It's not about memorizing sentences because mostly the sentences occur in specific syntactic patterns. And syntactic patterns means uh, there's a specific kind of a grammar pattern there that the words are falling into uh, a certain order. And so if you are practicing many sentences with this pattern, then ideally, if you just switch out another word into that pattern, you are by default having learned how to construct a sentence in that pattern. And so the most important thing here is whether you've acquired the pattern rather than having acquired, you've memorized a bunch of sounds that don't really mean anything to you. Okay, so if you understand the pattern, you really know how to manipulate the sentence. And that's what the goal is. Um, as you go on to more and more patterns, they start repeating patterns before um, that had occurred before. For example, you might just get a time pattern, which is like in a few days. And then how many times will that show up? Like in a few months, in a few, in a few hours, in a few minutes. How many times will that show up in a lot of other sentence patterns? Especially those time phrases um, get tend to get repeated a lot throughout all of the example sentences. So um, that's a really simple example. There are more complex examples, like maybe embedded clauses that get um, shared throughout a lot of the different um, uh, patterns. So the idea here is that your 15 to 20 sentences a day should be teaching you maybe two to three patterns, maybe more, maybe less, 
But those sentences, you're now acquiring those patterns, which actually give you more of an ability to, to use and speak in real life. Now, you just need to be able to use the, the, your own vocabulary that you want to use in those situations. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And that's our update for this week, uh, January 22nd. Bye-bye.